First step is to download the Zorin OS ISO from the official website. To get the free version, scroll a bit to the core option and download the ISO file. Then start your virtual box and click on new. In the dialog box, enter the details. You can leave the destination folder as it is or you can create a new one. Select the ISO file. Once selected, the type and version fields will be filled automatically. Click on next. Now allocate how much RAM and processor you want to allocate to the virtual installation. I am allocating 6 GB of RAM and 6 cores of the processor. In my host machine, I have 16 GB of RAM and 16 core processor. Choose according to your host machine and click on next. Now select how much storage of the disk you want to allocate. I am allocating 30 GB. Now you get the summary page. Everything looks fine here. So I'll click on finish. Now click on the start button of the virtual box and the installation process will actually start now. This might take a few seconds to a few minutes. So wait for a while until you get the installation wizard. If you want to try it out before installing, you can click on the try Zorin OS button and try it out without even installing it. Once you have tested it and you are sure that you want to install it, then either double click on this file or right click and select the open option. You will get this wizard to select your settings for the system. Choose your language and continue. Then choose your keyboard layout. It's good to have these options selected. The installation process will take a little longer because of these, but they will install updates and third party software for graphics and Wi Fi, which is good. If you are in a hurry, then you can uncheck them and continue. Here comes a crucial part. If you are installing it in the virtual box, you can simply select erase disk and install option, but if you are installing alongside your Windows operating system or any other operating system, then you have to select the other option and configure your drives accordingly. Please take caution here. I am on virtual box, so I can safely select this option and continue. It will detect your location correctly unless you are using a VPN. If it is correct, continue. Otherwise, select the correct one and click on continue. Now, on this screen, you will have to enter the username and password that you are going to use while logging into the system. You can also change the computer's name that was created automatically and continue. Now this process is going to take 10 to 15 minutes or maybe even more. You can prepare your coffee or do whatever you want. Once the installation has completed, click on the restart button and wait for a few seconds. Now enjoy your user-friendly and glamorous operating system.